All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up our um, machine here so that way we can give our breaths to our baby. This is our Neopuff tubing. Um, this is what we're gonna use to um, resuscitate the baby and give very controlled breaths um, to the kid. This end tubing will hook up here. If for some reason this doesn't look the same when you're going to set it up, they may have changed the piece of resuscitation equipment. It may look like it would adapt better to this side and that's probably called our T-piece resuscitator. Um, for today, we're gonna to talk about the Neopuff itself. So we wanna make sure this is turned on and it is. You need both the respirations um, side, the oxygen side turned on and the suction must be turned on or else they will not work. We're going to turn the oxygen to 10 liters per minute on the side where we are using our equipment. Um, when we start resuscitating a kid, per NRP guidelines, we start at 21%, which is room air. Anytime you're starting compressions or you're going to intubate a baby, you would turn that concentration up to 100%. So we'll leave it at 100% today. I want you to know how to set your PEEP and your PIP. These are two things that we need to know the pressures on so we can give our babies the appropriate inhalation breath and provide that assistance to them so that way they don't have to work so hard in between. Your PEEP is your positive end expiratory pressure. That is how much pressure is left in the alveoli in between breaths. So to check this, we're gonna have this end occluded, which it, which it is, I'm gonna leave it that way and I'm going to actually cover this hole here. This is the hole that we cover when we wanna give a breath. So I wanna check that this, this end expiratory pressure is at 10. This should be between five and 10, so I'm gonna leave it at a 10 um, centimeters of water is the measurement for it. If I needed to adjust this, I would twist this little cap here to make it go higher or lower, but I'm gonna leave that at 10. So that'll be good. Now our PIP is our positive inspiratory pressure. Um, that's the breath that we're gonna give the kid. So we wanna make sure that we're gonna give the kid a strong enough breath. So when we do our set up, we wanna make sure that this is good. So to give our breath, we're going to occlude the hole. And we see that this number here is up to 20. And that is a good breath. Um, so we can do our, our pressure between breaths is down to 10. When we give a breath, it's up to 20. If we needed to increase this because we needed more pressure to keep that kid's lungs open, we would use this knob, this little knob here to turn it up. And as I turn it up, you can see that this, this pressure line goes up. Um, you, do, you do not wanna go past 30 um, if you can avoid it because then you have a chance of causing the baby to, um, a pneumothorax, which causes plenty of other problems that we would like to avoid. So this is considered set up and ready to go between five and 10 at the base and 20 at the top. Then we would take the little red cap off and put our face mask on. And this is ready to go to give proper breaths to a baby. 